Trey is to me is like Harden. Like when Harden said, I don't fit into a system. I am the system. Right. Like Trey is the system. If I know my guy is the system, I'm not gonna try to force squares into a circle. Like I'm just not gonna do that. Welcome back to Forte Sports. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So that was Carmelo Anthony talking about Trey Young, comparing him to James Harden, saying he is the system. I'm going to, you know I had to get in on this. I reside in Atlanta. Um, I'm a Hawks fan. I do not like what the Hawks have been doing these last two, three years. And I had to get in on this quick and give my thoughts. I'm going to slightly disagree with Carmelo Anthony because the version of Trey Young that we have right now is not working. It's not working. His best version. I'm going to continue to say this. People who've been subscribed to my channel have seen me countless times talk about Trey Young and what I've seen these last couple years. He's digressing. That season, when we almost made it to the finals, which, which we lost to the Milwaukee Bucks, that was the best version of Trey Young by far. The best version. I will continue saying Rondo played a big part in that because he was mentoring Trey Young when Trey Young was a part of the team. Then they made the coaching change to Nate McMillan. You really start to see Trey Young blossom. He was on superstar status. You can compare him to uh, Luka Doncic and the rest of the gang. He was must see TV. I could not wait to watch Trey Young on TV. He was moving the ball around. He played like Steve Nash slash Rajon Rondo. He did similar moves like both of them which made the Atlanta Hawks a threat in the East. You had, you had people saying the Hawks would be the new threat in the East. Now we, we can, we, we've been giving up hella points. Teams can't wait to play us. Trey Young that season, he was, he was one of the best players in the, in the league that season. He was the best player in the league. But something, I don't know if somebody got in his ear or saying, hey, you need to put up more shots. If you would have put up more shots, y'all probably would have beat him. No. If he would have stayed playing like that, the Hawks, we I, this is my honest opinion, we would have been a title contender if he would have continued to play like that. He does not play the same. They end up getting Javante Murray, which I didn't really see no reason. Trey has proven he can be the guy, the point guard. We didn't need Murray. He can. He's shown us. He, they haven't even touched the Eastern Conference, I mean, the Eastern Conference final since then. So I disagree with Carmelo Anthony. The Hawks can't even touch that anymore. They can't touch it because of this playing style that he's doing now. What he did back then, you go look at the tapes, how he was playing. He was playing totally different. The ball was moving from his teammates. If he held on to the ball, it's to make sure they get open. But he he even played off the ball at times. When he, especially when they brought in Lou Williams, he would play off the ball. So I I was I disagree with him. I, I disagree with um Carmelo Anthony with that. I don't think Trey Young is like James Harden. I, I after what I saw that season, he was a he was a complete different guy. I I really love that type of style of play. He was playing, getting his teammates involved, not trying to take it on, take it upon himself. Cause you saw guys like Kevin Herter stepping up, John Collins, uh, Bogey was stepping up, Gallinari. Good God, they was that was that. I mean, I was excited to see that team how we was performing. I think we had DeAndre Hunter. If he was healthy, we would have beat. I'm, I'm gonna say that we would have beat Milwaukee. We would have beat him if we had DeAndre Hunter. That that on uh, because he got hurt. Think the New York series he got hurt and we didn't see him no more. DeAndre Hunter was playing because he was averaging 18 points before we got into the uh, playoffs. We would have had DeAndre Hunter. We would have beat the Bucks. Promise you that. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Post comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'll get it. You guys later.